As the CDL regular season winds down, the focus is starting to turn to champs. Most of the discussion around champs so far deals with the bracket. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Unscripted, where today we are taking a deeper dive into how the community feels about the champs bracket for this year. And as always, we are doing things off the script. If you enjoy the video, consider leaving a like down below. Also, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the champs format and what you would like to see this year. And subscribe to the channel as well if you like this video and want to see more videos like this one from me in the future. I appreciate all of that. It means a lot to me. And let's hop right into the video. So I think the stage four major is where the champs discussion really picked up. Seattle was a perfect example of this. They were pretty bad all year online. We all know that. They struggled a lot. They moved to land for the stage four major. They played okay. They got top eight, which was by far their best placement of the year. And Octane was sort of the one who was turning the heads. He played really well. He pretty much carried their team to the top eight placement. And then he had a lot to say on Twitter. You know, here he made this video. He had some other tweets too saying, you know, he got they got beat up all year online. Now they're not going to be able to play at Champs because of that. You know, they won the land, they played better, but it's too late now. He's pretty much saying he's going to have to be watching Champs from home. Then he makes this video and he says, you know, some thoughts on the recent major and Champs format as well as how he played over the weekend. In the video, he said a lot about the Champs format. He was talking about how it doesn't really feel like Champs anymore in the sense that Champs is supposed to be a grind. Um, it's supposed to be pretty much a long weekend of Call of Duty. And the best team standing at the end is the best team. And that's how it's been for a while now, up until last year. And he's just been saying a lot about how he does not think eight teams is the way to go. He thinks all 12 teams should be there. Of course, maybe you could be saying he's saying that because he's on one of the bottom four teams, which might be true, but I feel like he would probably think that either way because many other players feel the same way. He thinks it's stupid how FaZe pretty much will probably have to win two or three series and they will be crowned the champions. He just thinks that does not feel like champs anymore. And he is far from the only one. You see Karma here, he's echoing sort of a same sentiment. He says, this is from Optics Infinite Warfare Championships run. He says, seven series and three group matches. Now you win three and you're number one. So yeah, he's basically saying like back then we grinded. We played a lot of Call of Duty in one weekend. We didn't just go out and win three matches and be crowned champs. Ake says a similar thing. Champs ain't champs anymore. It's just a completely different tournament with a huge prize pool. Slasher replies, format's got to change. Been saying it and Ake says the entire project needs to change. He's talking about how... We'll see it. We'll talk about it a little bit later when we see a different tweet. But he's saying, like, it doesn't really work with 12 teams. There's just not enough teams to really make a true champs format the way it used to be. There used to be, what, 32 teams at champs. Now there's going to be eight. I mean, it just it doesn't feel like champs anymore. That's what a lot of pros have been saying. They think that it's basically should be called. It shouldn't be called champs. It should be called CDL playoffs or something because it just does not feel like champs. With only eight teams there, that's not how it's been through the CWL. And for as long as we can pretty much remember, it's always been a lot of Call of Duty being played. And now it's clearly different. Crim6, he came out and he tweeted, let all 12 teams compete at champs. Tag the COD League. This, a lot of people were tweeting this. I know Charlie, or not Charlie Intel, uh, Crone at CDL Intel tweeted it. A couple other people tweeted the same thing. But then Crim, of course, says, psych, LMAO, should have brought a neck here, Nighthawk, yeah, blah, blah. Crim trolling as usual. Clayster, he jumps in on the other side, kind of. He says, I mean, I'm all for better comp, but if you can't be better than 33% of your league to make it to playoffs, that's on you. So he's sort of seeing like, you know, you only have to be in the top two thirds of the league. It can't be that hard. If you can't do that, do you really deserve to be there in the first place? That's what a lot of people are saying. They're basically saying, why do those bottom four teams have to be there? They're not going to do anything anyway. They're probably just going to get ran over by FaZe or whoever they play in the first round anyway, which might be a fair argument. But then the counter side of that is, okay, then what does it hurt having them there for a little extra Call of Duty? Sort of get as closer to the way it used to be. But anyway, Clay says that. And then he adds in, you know, I want to make it clear that nowhere did I say the format was okay or that I thought it was good. What I do think is that the CDL has done the best job of making a 12-team league feed into an 18 bracket where the whole season matters. That being said, not a fan. He's basically saying, like, if you just put all 12 teams in there, then what does the regular season matter? You know, it matters for a little bit of extra money, and then it matters for seeding for chance. But beyond that, what does it really matter if all 12 teams make champs anyway? What incentive is there to try their best during the league match? Which I see that argument. I really do. You know, he's saying... This is what they have. They have 12 teams. They have to put eight teams in the playoffs, and he thinks the way they're doing it is the best, which we don't even know how they're doing it. We don't even know what the format is. I kind of think the players might know what the format is, and we don't because you see here on this other Clayster tweet, Accuracy replied, he said, my biggest gripe is that four teams being eliminated and two teams starting in losers. If four are all gone, I don't think the other two should start in losers. So that's something we don't know for sure. That is maybe known behind closed doors that – there will be eight teams and two will start losers. If, if I was going to do eight teams, I think it would make sense just to have one play eight, two play seven, three play six, four play five, and do double a limb from there. But if it is eight teams and the top two seeds get a buy or however it's going to work, then it's really going to be like, okay, 
there's not much Call of Duty being played. So definitely, if that's what it ends up being, that would be unfortunate. But we really don't know right now. We just know that there's a lot of discussion about it, and a lot of players seem to have problems with it, but they necessarily don't know what the solutions should be. So I think a lot of the community agrees there is a problem with the chance format, but the harder thing is finding a solution. You know, it's easy to identify a problem, but it's not always as easy to come up with a solution. Jcap here, he was one of the ones talking about it. He says, regarding champs, there's no real way, solid way for a 12-team bracket to work properly. I saw this pick on Reddit earlier, so I'll use it as an example. But right here, you have teams who lose winners round one and winners round two, making up all the losers round one matches, which means the win and winners round one was for nothing. So here's the bracket he's talking about. Basically, like you say, up top there, Rocker beat LAG, and then Rocker would lose to FaZe, and then Rocker would end up playing one of the teams who lost in the first round anyway. So, like, what's the point? If they're going to lose in the first round or the second round, they end up in the same spot anyway. So what's the point of winning in the first round if you're just going to end up in losers round one anyway? So, yeah, that's that's fair. I don't think that really makes sense. It's just hard to do it with 12 teams. Now, I will say this is one that I made myself, and let me know what you think. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on this one. I would like to see this a lot. What I would do is... I'd like to see a little bit of a play-in for the eight seed. I don't think double elimination, all 12 teams is the way to go. I think there does have to be some sort of incentive for winning in the regular season. Maybe not. I think all 12 teams should go to chance, but there should be a reward for the best teams and sort of a punishment, if you will, for the worst teams. So what I'm saying here is have a play-in tournament. Basically, how this would work is like this. Number nine would play number 12. When I made this, these were the seeds that could have changed by now, but it was Surge versus Gorillas, I think, were 10 and 11 maybe. And then 9 and 12 was London versus Paris. So the winners of that, this would be single elimination. So the two losers of those two matches would be out. The winners would play each other. Then the winner of that would play the 8 seed for the last play in match to play the 1 seed. So when I made this, Mutineers were the 8 seed. So they would have played the last team standing from the bottom 4 in a play in match with the winner of that going on to play phase. So basically for... The top seven teams, nothing would change. They would be in champs, you know, no worries there. They're, they have their spot. For the for the eighth team, they'd have to win one series to make it into the final bracket. And for nine through 12, they'd have to win three series to make it into the final bracket. So it's possible for a bottom team to go on a major run and make some noise, but it's very hard. That's how I think it should be. This should It should definitely be harder for the teams who placed poorly in the regular season, but they still should have a chance. This does that. It gives them a very small chance, but, you know, it's... It's not likely, but it's possible, and I think that would produce some storylines and maybe get a little bit of sort of uncertainty flowing through the, the chance bracket. But that's how I would like to see it. I know it's probably not going to happen, but I think it would be cool. And then from there on out, once you have your eight teams, it would just be a straight-up double elimination. One would play eight, two play seven, three play six, four play five, double elim, normal, the rest of the way through. That's what I would do. It's not going to happen, but I would love to see that. That's personally, I mean, maybe I'm biased because I made it, but I think that's the best alternative that I've seen so far for uh for the chance bracket it's only what one two three it's four extra series that could be done on the first day of the tournament you know no big deal and then from there on it's a regular tournament so that'd be cool probably not going to happen another thing people have been saying this is decimates mom here she's saying the bottom four teams play the top four am teams in a round robin for four spots if an am team wins out they replace the losing pro teams roster and salaries at champs this is taking it to the extreme but basically a lot of people have been saying okay why don't you make it a 16 team bracket all 12 pro teams and the top four challengers teams. But there's a few problems with that. And the main one is it's a $25 million per team league. They're not going to let a free team into the chance bracket. That's just the way it goes. As cool as this would be, which I would definitely love to see it. I think there are challengers teams who would beat some of the pro teams. It would never happen. So there's really no point in even thinking about it. They would never put an amateur team into a bracket with $25 million teams. It just, it, it won't happen. It's just it's a money league. That's how it is. I would love to see this. Like I said, she took it to the extreme, but you don't have to take it that extreme. Just literally have the one seed would be phase play one of the four challengers teams. Basically, the top four CDL teams would play challengers teams in the first round. So they'd probably get smoked. You know, if you could have those challengers teams playing the bottom teams for a play, and maybe that would be more interesting because they'd have a chance to win. But regardless, it will not happen. There will never be a challengers team at COD Champs. It would be cool. But it won't happen. Maybe they can make another tournament where there are challengers teams included. That would be cool. But again, I don't see it happening in this franchised era. Previously, yes, of course, in the CWL, an open bracket team could get in there. That'd basically be the open bracket would be the challengers teams. And they can make a run. It won't happen now, unfortunately. But that's the way it goes with franchising. Hopefully, the solution to that is just getting an expansion. And then getting more of those challengers players in there on the 13, 14, 15, and 16th teams. The new four teams get some challengers players in there. And let them get some exposure that way. But... It's not going to happen where they play the pros. Sorry, I wish it would. It'd be cool, but it just will not happen. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like down below. Leave a comment as well with your thoughts on the bracket. You know, what you would do, 
how you feel about it and what changes they should implement and subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see more videos like this one from me in the future i do appreciate all of that and it does mean a lot to me as we grow this channel from the ground up so i hope you enjoyed the video hope you have a good rest of your day and i'll talk to you guys in the next video